Hello, this is Retro Steve UK, and today I want to make a video that demonstrates how to very quickly and easily duplicate blocks in Minecraft using an anvil. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how to duplicate diamond, how to duplicate wood, and how to duplicate books, but this can be done with many uh, of the other items in Minecraft. This works on PS Vita, it works on PS3, and it works on PS4, and it's the PS4 version I'm playing. I'll start by demonstrating how to duplicate diamond. You need at least two diamond blocks to do this, and I've got 64 here right now. Open up the anvil. Grab the entire stack with X. Move it to this slot here, and use square to drop one of the blocks. Now move the block of 63 here, and press X to drop the entire stack. Go back down here, and this is the important part. You press triangle on this, and it adds it to this stack but leaves a what I'm going to call a phantom block here. Go up to this space, press triangle and it moves that stack down to here and duplicates the stack to here. Now what you've got now is a stack of real diamond blocks on the left and a stack of phantom diamond blocks on the left and I'm going to demonstrate what happens uh, if you open up your crafting interface without using a crafting table like this, press square, you've still got both stacks but if you try and go to the anvil again, or if you try and go to a crafting table, the phantom stack disappears. As you can see, there's now only one block of 64. So what you need to do, go to the anvil, repeat the process, pick up the entire block, drop one here, drop the 63 there, go back down to here, press triangle, that um, creates a phantom block. Use triangle to move this stack down to here. You've now got your phantom block, phantom stack on the right, and you've got your real stack on the left what you need to do is throw the real stack out and then move away so you don't re-pick it up now open the crafting interface without going to a crafting table the phantom stack is still there so you can now go to the part of the crafting menu where you can make diamonds from diamond blocks and create real not phantom diamonds you're making real diamonds from the phantom blocks once that's done you go and pick up your other blocks again and as you can see in the inventory, I now have all these diamonds and I still have my original blocks. Now I'm going to demonstrate this method with wood. Let's move all these out of the way. Now I'll go to the anvil, pick up the entire, hang on, move that out of the way, thank you very much. Move the entire block of wood to the second slot, drop one with square, move up to here. Drop all of them with X, go back down to here and press triangle to move this one block up to the stack of 31 making 32 leaving a phantom one behind. Move up to here, press triangle, moves the real blocks down to here and you've got your phantom blocks here. Throw out the real blocks. The reason why we throw out the real blocks is because we don't want to use the real blocks to do this, to make wood blocks out of the, um, the phantom items. Incidentally on this occasion it hasn't worked. Uh, now and again you'll try this and the, the process won't work so you just pick your blocks up again and go back to the anvil. Pick up my wood blocks, drop one with square, move up to here, drop the entire stack, move back down to here, use triangle to move one up to that stack leaving a phantom one behind. Now I press triangle here, throw out the real blocks, move back, open the crafting interface, as you can see the phantom blocks are still there so I can now make lots and lots of wood using the phantom blocks. Now go back pick up my blocks and as you can see in my inventory I've now got this wood that I've made out of these uh, phantom blocks that I used. Now I'm going to demonstrate one more time uh, by duplicating leather uh, to, make, uh, to make books. Now you need paper and leather to make books. Now I can't duplicate more than one item at the same time so paper is easy enough to make just by growing sugarcane. So what I'm going to do is go to the anvil, duplicate my leather, pick up the entire stack, drop one with square, go up to here, drop the entire stack, go back down to here, use triangle to move that up, leaving a phantom one behind, go up to the uh, stack of ten, press triangle to move it down, throw the real ones out, move back, open the crafting interface, it hasn't worked on this occasion so let's go back and pick those up again, back to the anvil, pick up the ten leather blocks with X, drop one using square, drop the block uh, stack of nine using X, 
go down here, press triangle to move the one up, leaving a phantom one behind, press triangle here to move the real ones down and throw them out and move away. Now open the crafting interface, as you can see it's worked on this occasion. So I now have 10 phantom leathers and I have 30 real papers. And I can combine the two to make books. Now as you can see it's using up the paper, but it hasn't used up my leather because joy of joys, there's my leather and I've now got 10 books. And of course papers are very easy to, to um, craft just by growing sugarcane. So this method can be used to create a lot of different items. Um, any item, I wouldn't say any item, but most of the items that are on the crafting menu that you get by pressing square when you don't use the crafting table, uh, these can all be um, crafted using phantom items. So it's up to you to sort of go into the crafting menu and have a look around and see what sort of items you can create using this uh, duplication method. So that's the end of the video. Hope you've uh, gleaned some interesting and useful information from this one. I am aware of the fact that there are videos that demonstrate how to do this out there already, but all the ones that I've looked at weren't particularly clear or, con or concise in the description. So I'm hoping um, you guys out there can benefit from this little video that I've made uh, demonstrating how to duplicate blocks in Minecraft. Uh, apparently, from what I've been able to look up on the internet, this also works on Xbox versions and other versions as well. Uh, I'm guessing it doesn't work on PC versions, so uh, sucks to be you if you play the PC version. So, hope you've enjoyed this and got some useful information. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.